Hi, welcome to Boom Moon Math. Today we're going to look at an application of matrix. We're going to find the area of a polygon. And we have a little formula for the area. The area is equal to these little two by two determinants all added up. All, and then we find the determinant or the absolute value of that and then divide by two. So it's a, a group of two by two matrices and then we add them up and divide by two, so it's really pretty easy. But I gotta show you where those little two by two determinants come from, because these represent a two by two determinant. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, we're gonna start pretty easy. We're gonna start with a quadrilateral. Okay, we got A, B, C, and D, and here are the ordered pairs for each one of these. And what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and plot them and make sure they actually connect to be a solid figure because sometimes you have to reorder these to make it into a figure. Okay, what you're going to do is once you figure out the order, so I'm going to go from A to B, B to C, C to D, and D back to A, I'm going to write a column of all those coordinates. So negative 1, I'm sorry, negative 2, 1, negative 4, 5, 6, 7, and two zero. So that's A, B, C, D. Now, what I need to do is I need to repeat A at the end because I have to think about each one of my little two by two matrices representing the side of one of my matrix. So I'm just going to label these so you can see that that's A followed by B followed by C followed by D and then ending back at A. Now I'm going to pair them up. So I'm going to pair these first two up and I'm going to find the determinant of that small 2 by 2. So to find the determinant, you multiply and get negative 10 minus negative 4. So that's going to give me what? Negative 6 because I have a double negative. Let's just go ahead and show that. Okay, then I'm going to pair up the next two. I'm going to pair up B and C as a second 2 by 2 determinant. Okay, and then I find the determinant of that one. So it's negative 28 minus 30. So that gives me a negative 58. Okay, whoops. And then I pair up the next two. So let's pair up C and D and find the determinant of that one. Well, that's gonna give me zero minus 14. So negative 14. And pair up the last two. And I'm going to get 2 minus 0, which is just 2. Okay, so now each one of, I have four determinants, and I have four, it's a quadrilateral. So you want to have the same number of determinants, 2 by 2s, as you do sides. So each determinant kind of represents a side. So that's a good way to think about it. Okay, now let's add all this up. So negative 6, negative 14, that's negative 20, negative 20. Minus 58 is negative 78. So all my negatives add to negative 78. And then I'm going to add 2. And that's going to give me negative 76. Now, what do I do with that? The formula says I take the absolute value of that. So I'm going to take a positive 76 and I'm going to divide that by 2. So what's that going to give me? 38. So my area of that polygon is 38 square units. And that's how you use matrices to find the area of a polygon when it's graphed in a Cartesian coordinate plane. Hope this video was helpful.